relations and functions, absolute value function. In previous videos, we have discussed what is relations, domain, codomain, objects, and images for a relation, the types of relations, and the functions. In this video, we are going to continue with absolute value function. Before we discuss absolute value functions, let's see what does it mean by absolute value. Absolute value of a number, or sometimes we call it the modulus of a number x, is denoted by this symbol where we put x in between two vertical lines. So what is absolute value? Let's see this table. Uh, the column to the left shows a series of numbers. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative. And the column to the right shows the absolute values of the numbers to the left. We can see that when the number is positive, the absolute values of the number is the same. When the number is 5, the absolute value is 5. When the number is 4, the absolute value is 4. And even when the number is 0, the absolute value is still 0. However, when the number is negative, for example, negative 1, the absolute value is 1. And when the number is negative 2, the absolute value is 2. Therefore, in practice, absolute value means to remove any negative sign of a number. If it's negative 3, we remove the negative sign, it becomes 3. And if the number is negative 4, we remove negative and it becomes 4. For example, the absolute values of negative 6 is 6, right? Okay, we remove the negative. How about the absolute values of 5? It's still the same, it's 5. And then uh, the absolute values of 0 is 0. And the absolute values of negative 1, 2, 3 is 1, 2, 3, or 123. Therefore, by definition, the absolute values of x is equal to x if x is greater or equal to 0. And the absolute values of x is negative x if x is less than 0. For example, when x is equal to, uh, let's say, 12, the absolute values of 12 is equal to 12 okay and when x equal to negative 3 now negative 3 is less than 0 and therefore modulus negative 3 or absolute values of negative 3 is equal to negative put a negative negative 3 then it become positive 3 so this is the definitions of absolute value. Let's see this example. A function f is defined by f of x equal to modulus 2x minus 6. Let's rewrite these functions here. f of x is equal to modulus 2x minus 6. Okay. So for question A, find the image of 2, 3, and 4. So when x equal to 2, f, uh, x become 2, uh, so f2 equal to modulus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 6. And uh, this is equal to 4 minus 6, which is equal to negative 2. And we learn that when the number is negative, the absolute value will become positive. So this becomes positive 2. So when the object is 2, the image is 2. Um, B, sorry, we still have 3 and 4. So when x equal to 3, so f of 3 equal to modulus 2 times 3, minus 6 this is equal to 0 equal to 0 and modulus 0 modulus 0 equal to 0 and when x equal to 4 4 then f of 4 equal to modulus 2 times 4 minus 6 which is equal to 8 minus 6 is a modulus 2 and modulus 2 is equal to 2 okay so these are the images of 
the functions when the object is 2, 3, and 4. Find the values of x when fx equal to 4. When fx equal to 4, which means the modulus of neg 2x minus 6 equal to 4. Right? Okay. Now we know that um, modulus 4 equal to 4 and modulus negative 4 is also equal to 4. Therefore, 2x minus 6 can be a positive 4 or negative 4. Let's say 2x minus 6 equal to positive 4. Therefore, 2x equal to uh, 10 and x equal to 5. And if 2x minus 6 equal to negative 4, then 2x equal to negative 4 plus 6. Uh, so 2x equal to 2 and therefore x equal to 1. So when fx equal to 4, x can be 1 or 5. Okay, C, find the values of x when fx equal to x. So C, given that fx equal to x, therefore modulus 2x minus 6 equal to x, and 2x minus 6 is equal to positive negative x. Okay, so uh, when x is positive, so 2x minus 6 equal to x um, so 2x minus x equal to 6 and x equal to 6 or 2x minus 6 equal to negative x and therefore 2x plus x equal to 6 and 3x equal to 6 x equal to 2 okay so uh, when fx equal to x then the x can be 6 or 2. 